Video Tai Chi episode 94, Learn at School. Tai Chi can be an exercise, a meditation, or a form of self-defense. Tai Chi can be you. Find a teacher, read a book, watch Video Tai Chi. Okay, today we're talking about uh, schools. This is a school. This is uh, Pro Martial Arts in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania, USA. Um, and uh, this school just started uh, a couple months ago, and it's doing a really good job bringing in uh, uh, karate students and kickboxing students, and we're beginning to see some, uh, some uh, Tai Chi students as well. Um, so what I want to talk to you about, in my intro I say, find a teacher, read a book, watch Video Tai Chi. So presumably you might be watching Video Tai Chi. Maybe you found some good, good books on Tai Chi. The next thing you need to do is find a good teacher. Now, what does a teacher bring to you that you're not getting from books or Tai Chi, or, or books or videos? What a teacher brings to you is somebody who can correct your movements, show you what you're doing wrong, show you what you're doing right, and help you with the minutia, the very small details. And Tai Chi, like many other arts, and Tai Chi is an art. Learning Tai Chi has lots of little details, so it, it, it's very, very easy to learn. In uh, the commencement, up to shoulder height, down, uh, step out to part the wild horse's mane. The, no, the thumb is at, at nose height, the arm is straight here, your elbows are relaxed down here, this palm is facing up, you look down, your feet need your knees, should not be beyond your toes. You're, you're in this particular style of Tai Chi, and there are many styles of Tai Chi, uh, the weight distribution is 70% forward, 30% back. Both feet are flat on the floor. This foot is 30 degree, uh, 45 degrees out. This foot is straight. You're looking forward. You're looking at the horizon. You're not looking down. You're not looking up. You're paying attention to this. All these little things, and then, and then we get into breathing later on. All these little things just to learn and exercise. Uh, but because Tai Chi is based on a self-defense, you have to learn, or theoretically, your teacher might teach you the self-defense applications for each of these exercises. Like, for example, that the commencement, uh, somebody might be holding onto your wrists, and as you lift up, they are toppled backwards. They lose their balance. And Tai Chi is all about seeking, uh, when you're defending yourself, merely, you're not trying to kill somebody, you're merely trying to make somebody feel uncomfortable, move them off their balance, move them out to the side. So that's all you want to do in Tai Chi. And hopefully when you find a teacher, that teacher will show you these things and how uh, uh, Tai Chi can do those things. But if you don't find a teacher, if you're only reading books or only watching videos, you're not going to find out all the little minutia about this as an art. You can still learn it through books and videos, but I urge you to go out and find a teacher. This is Alex Landerfeld with Video Tai Chi Episode 94, Learning at School.